One of the biggest and most noticeable improvements in JIRA 4.1 is the View Issue screen. We've updated the UI to be cleaner, faster, and more efficient. The layout of issue information has been redesigned. In Issue Details, you can find specific issue information as well as the issue description. The right-hand column provides you with at-a-glance details about the people and dates related to your issue. The contents of our custom field, Participants, can be hidden and expanded to reduce clutter on the issue screen. Below this, the number of votes and watchers for the issue is displayed. If you want to vote on or watch an issue, just click on the icon on the right. The issue is then dynamically updated to reflect your action. In the Attachments section, We've improved the way you view attached images. The image preview will now pop up in the center of the issue screen. Using the arrows on the left and right sides of the preview, you can scroll through all the attached images for the current issue. We've also added a link that allows you to download all the attachments to the issue as a zip file. You'll notice that as I scroll down the page, the operations bar at the top of the page stays with me. This bar contains all the same actions you're used to from previous versions of Jira. Having the comment button available at all times means that I can easily reference any part of the issue without having to scroll between it and the comment box. In the More Actions drop-down menu, you'll find a list of all available actions that you can take on the issue. Having these links in the Operations bar means that you can perform actions on your issue more quickly and from anywhere in the issue. To the right, you'll find available workflow transitions for the issue. The default number of transitions displayed is 2, but can be configured to suit your implementation. We've added a number of new keyboard shortcuts and updated others. To bring up this reference screen, just type question mark. The user profile screen has gotten a makeover as well. You can easily see user details, the user's activity stream, and how many open issues are assigned to the user per project. We've also made UI improvements to several other areas of the product, with more to come in future releases. We've also made some changes to the way that you can search for and take action on issues. The JQL search language now allows you to search for issues that were voted on or watched by a particular user or user group. The filter results gadget that comes bundled with Jira now includes an action link next to each issue. The link allows users to perform available operations such as workflow transitions and voting right from their dashboard. We've also added a new gadget called the heat map gadget. It's like a tag cloud for issue fields of a given filter. In this example, components of projects are displayed and we can see that WYSIWYG editing and wiki slash HTML are two components that are more frequently represented than the others. We've added a lot more in this release, including customizable email templates, various administrative improvements, and much, much more. Check out the release notes to see what else is new in Jira 4.1.